Hi, in this video I'll tell you about static function. You can go to my homepage and um, yeah, you can see the address here. And then you go to manuals, English, <coughs> stability, and then it's article number two, it said static functions. Um, the first function uh, you need to learn is about beam function. We use the abbreviation BF. And as you see on the uh, uh, picture here, then all the loads are acting perpendicular to the main axis. So this is the definition of a beam function. <coughs> the next function is slab function. So now it's a, a plan and um, the definition is that all loads are acting perpendicular to the main plane. So you can say it's a kind of area. The next function is shear function, abbreviation SHF. And as you see on this picture, <coughs> all the loads are acting parallel to the main plane. The shear function is uh, often used as a stabilizing wall. <coughs> then we have column function, abbreviation CF. And uh, all loads are acting as compression in the main axis. And um, a column could, of course, be as normally vertical, but it can also be diagonal or even horizontal. The next function is the tie rod function, abbreviation TRF. All loads are acting as tension in the main axis. <coughs> so it's a kind of an opposite column. And of course, a tie rod uh, can be placed horizontally, but also vertically and diagonal. The next function is a lattice function, abbreviation LF. And um, it is a combination of um, column and tie rods. You should imagine the loads are acting in each vertex. Those points are named vertex. So if you, uh, for instance, have vertical loads, that could be from snow load, then um, the bottom cord in this lattice structure is tie rods, because here you have tension. The other members of this structure <coughs> could be columns. Even if you had horizontally action forces on this structure, it's a combination of columns and tie rods. Remark in the lattice there are no beam function. And that's why when you support a lattice function like this, uh, you need to support in each or in a vertex. You cannot support, like for instance in the center point here, because this member do not have any beam function. It will simply just bend up like this. It's too soft. The last function you need to know about is the frame function. Abbreviation FF, and that's a combination of beam and columns. If you look at this structure here, um, and I add vertical load on the roof space, then this member is a beam. It's a beam function. This one is a combination of a column and a beam. Because in this situation you had wind on the member, and this cause a beam function, but at the same time it carry the roof structure, so it's at the same time a column function. So 
frame function is a combination of beam and columns. That was briefly about static functions. I would now go to um, Second Life and uh, I have made some of those static functions as well here. I have here um, the legend for the different functions. But, um, I have used different color, uh, colors for the different functions. For instance, beam function yellow, column function red, shear function green, slab function blue, tie rod function orange, uh, lattice function. Yeah, how color? Which color is the magenta or something? And frame function is pink. I could try to go to the first function. Yeah, here you see the beam function. Uh, you should imagine all the red forces are actions and the green ones are reactions and then I have the beam function here. All loads are acting perpendicular to the main axis. Then we could try to take a column. As you see here, columns can have different shapes. Um, they can be squared, like this one. They could be circular, like this one. Or they can even be like a wall, like this. The rule is, if, um, if the column length or the length is uh, five times the width, then it's a wall column. So there are a lot of shapes of columns. Here you will see for the tie rod, um, we have tension in the main axis. Tension in the main axis. Then we go to the slab function, if it's possible to find. Try to look. Yeah can take it like this. It's a slab function. <coughs> um, as you see on the picture here, all loads are acting perpendicular to the main plane. And um, this slab is four-sided supported in this example. You can also see this example, it's only two-sided supported, but it's still a slab function. And here you can see a slab also, a cantilevered slab. All loads are still acting perpendicular to the surface. Yes, then we go to shear function. You should imagine this could be a, a wall, a stabilizing wall, uh, where you have wind pressure on this side. <coughs> then the wall try to slide and rotate. So we need to react. And um, as you see on this picture, the reaction forces look like this. You have uh, horizontally reactions and vertical reactions. Then we go to um, the lattice function. The definition of a lattice function is uh, it, it is a combination of uh, tie rods and column functions. Again, here you have the action forces in each vertex and the reaction here, colorized green.
Yeah, and um, the frame function. It's a combination combination of um, column columns and um, and beams. Yeah, maybe it's better to see like this view. This is a beam function, and this member is a combined column and beam function because it has compression and bending at the same time. Yep. <laughs>